So, Kinder, really, the, the numbers don't lie, right? More than a third of S&P 500 companies have zero black board members. More than 53 percent of investors, according to EY, say board diversity should be a top priority. The question, Sekinder, is with this initiative and others, are things going to change? Uh, well, I think we, we certainly hope so. Two, two or three things I'd observe. First of all, historically, this has been thought of as a pipeline challenge. And we, of course, know at the board list, which is a two-sided marketplace that introduces CEOs to underrepresented talent and diverse talent, uh, that the pipeline myth is just that. It's a myth. What we really suffer from is fairly homogeneous networks, long board tenures, and not enough board turnover. Uh, what we look at today is, of course, an increasing uh, view and recognition, the gender diversity and ethnic diversity and all types of diversity really increase almost every financial metric that a company cares about. So I do think we're seeing a shift in uh, understanding that this is not a pipeline problem, but really a problem of really board focus on changing its own representation. Yeah, Guy, you know, we, we know boards are, don't, don't represent the, the employees of the company they, they don't represent the customers of, of any given company, and they certainly don't represent society at large. The issue is how quickly you can begin to change things. This is a good initiative to sort of kick things off, and the conversation has certainly fired up since the George Floyd incident and others um, that we all know about. Um, it's going to take a t some time to change, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. But the change starts with one small step. And again, when Brad reached out to me, uh, you know, I had just become CEO of Valence, and we're really dedicated to being the catalyst for the change that you talk about for the professional and economic success of, of black talent at, at all levels. And um, you know, it was incredible because Brad called me again. We're, we're 80 days into this, you know, kind of first conversation, and just one call at a time, we've gotten you know over 40 companies have signed up to either say, "Hey, I'm going to add a black board member in the next 12 months." or I have a black board member or, or board members, and I'm committed to maintaining that and then sharing my experience and, and accelerating that change again. So being the catalyst starts with one small step, but if you ask if things are going to change, things already have changed. People have opened their eyes, they've opened their minds to the fact that this is necessary. And not only is it necessary for societal benefit, but it's actually necessary for shareholder value. And so when I was at Starbucks, I saw this happen. I saw it with my own eyes, walking into the boardroom with Melody Hobson and Olden Lee from Pepsi and seeing what happened as a result of their involvement in Howard Schultz's dedication to this issue. So, Kinder, there are companies and many of them that, that have at least one black director. I'm looking at the list because they're charter pledge partners of yours with the, the, the boardroom challenge. Uh, WW, the former Weight Watchers, United Airlines will speak with Oscar Munoz in just a bit. Merck and the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, Nordstrom and Okta and you know, Verizon, companies that are speaking out today on behalf of, of this initiative. But are you finding, Sikinder, that there are companies that, that want to do the right thing, but they want to do it on their own terms and timeline? Look, I think that what is true in every conversation we have is this is a very current conversation in every boardroom in America, private and public. Uh, of course, that boards need to look at their overall composition, the turnover and rate of turnover. We believe that an initiative like the Board Challenge will accelerate that conversation, you know, and force boards to look at when and how they are going to change their representation specifically, not just generally. So I do believe that companies are headed there, and this is a very current conversation with every company that we talk to, whether they took the challenge or not.